Failure to pay tithe is criminal, punishable at charged crosses, says Nigerian pastor Ibiemi. And these have got Nigerians talking. Hello guys, you are welcome to the news. If you are here for the first time, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much once again. God bless you. Okay, let's get straight to the news. Pastor David Ibiemi of Salvation Ministry has described the failure of Christians to pay tithe by Christians as criminal, noting that it is compulsory. The cleric described those who failed to remit their tithe, the 10% of their incomes, to church as criminals, stressing that the offense is punishable. Ibiemi disclosed this while speaking at the church service in Port High Court on Sunday saying that some Christians experience near success syndrome, failure at the age of breakthrough because of their reluctance to pay tight. He added that failure to pay tight attracts curses. He said, tax is the government share. So, you don't say, I want to give the government my tax. You say, you want to pay tax. That is how tight is God's own. Leviticus 27 verse 30. God is the owner of the tithe, so what do you do? He asked. You pay. It's only in Nigeria you don't pay tax, and they can't leave you in the Western world. It is a big criminal offense. If you don't pay tithe, you are a criminal. Your offense is punishable. Tithe is simply one tenth of your income, ten percent of your income goes to God. Near success syndrome, when not happened will not happen if you are experiencing near success syndrome don't go for deliverance you are not a tighter anything that i do when it is close to manifestation the thing will just go off you are not a faithful tighter many deliverance ministers they just go for deliverance this is the problem they don't pay tight faithfully yet they will say anything i want to do when it's about to click, we just go off. It is near source, near source syndrome. Correct it from Titan. Don't correct it from seven days deliverance. Hear this. Tight must be paid first. Otherwise, the cost will remain, he added. Nigerian pastors have been subject of, subject of heavy criticism due to their extravagant lifestyle and main poverty in the land. Some of them have private jets, posh cars, la live large at the expense of their poor congregation and all that. And Nigerians have reacted, you know. You are going to hear shocking reactions. Go carry gun and force people to pay tight. You can't hear this kind of message from Israel pastor. It's only here you hear this kind of message just to extort money from masses. Greedy pastors everywhere. This is terrible spirit of what? I don't know. It's demonic. How can failure to pay tithes be criminal? Which provision of law made it criminal? God, please, spiritually, call this man of God to order in Jesus' name. He said, Amen. You lied. Tithe paying is welcomed by God, but does not attract any of this you mentioned. God knows how to deal with his children. If you don't do what he expected from you, there is nothing like tithe in Roman Catholic doctrine, but they are doing well. Let's leave God to judge us according to his standards. These pastors often forget or ignore the fact, the part of the Bible that says, whatever you do to the last, to the least of the brethren, you do unto me. They focus on tithe so that they can always have the money. They don't want people to do the charity directly. Instead, they choose to amend small and give little of what they amend. When they do this, people praise them for being generous without knowing that they make profit from the lucrative front-length business of charity. Don't give to them to help the poor. Help the poor yourself directly. Hmm. So, failure to pay tax now is criminal, punishable, and attracts curses as well. God have mercy. 
So is that the kingdom of God you should preach? Even Nigeria economy is bad. The pastor that cannot even eat three times a day, is that who you are going to be raining cars on for not paying tight? Okay, failure to adopt the first male child of every church member to be cared for by the church as God's own property, according to Exodus 20, 13, verse 12. I beg your pardon, verse 2. It's equally a sin in the part of the pastors, and it's only a curse and punishable by God. Okay, guys, these are reactions by Nigerians, and they are still talking. The pastor has passed his message to those who have here, let them hear. So it happened during Noah's ark. But people does not take it serious. At the end, we know the result. Tight payment is mandatory. We, all true believers, know that we ought to be honoring our maker with what he blesses us with. So set this aside and preach the true gospel of Christ. All of you, big pastor, is in turn preaching and helping the rich, but those in the villages is left without the message of Christ. Is that good? Our Lord Jesus, in in his heavenly privilege, went preaching both in towns and villages, healing the sick and raising the dead. He never focused on towns only. So why do you pastors of today is only doing to towns where rich men is? but abandon the villages where poor farmers dwellers. Is that not a great evil that must be visited by the Lord Jesus Christ? Hmm. Yes, it is very true to those who are Christians and believe in Titan. That is how to know a criminal-minded pastor, nonsense preachers everywhere. By their preaching, you shall know them. Okay, guys, so these are reactions by pastors, I uh, uh, beg your pardon, by Nigerians. Pastor David BME of Salvation Ministry has described the failure of Christians to pay their tithe as criminal, Notable, uh, noting that it is a compulsory. The clergyman described those who failed to remit their tithe, that is their 10% of their incomes, to church as criminals, stressing that the offense is punishable. <laughs> Maybe let me disclose this while speaking at the at the church service in Port Harcourt on Sunday, saying that Christians experience near success syndrome, that is failure at the age of breakthrough, because of their reluctance to pay their tithe. But though most Nigerians see it in a different way, some are saying that these pastors that preach all these are criminals themselves, just trying to enrich themselves don't care about what is going on in the lives of their members and all that so guys you've all heard it now kindly share your thoughts with us below the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much bye for now